business, we all need money. And why do we need money? To purchase the asset for the business, which will work for the business and generate the revenue. This is what all of us know. But what we don't know that for doing business, the business is not necessarily own the asset. They can hire the asset and do the business. So dear students, today we'll try to understand the situation where without actually owning the assets, the business is generating revenue for itself by hiring the asset. I am Assistant Professor Shweta Bhatnagar from Department of Commerce and our topic for today is understanding the concept of royalty. We'll talk about the basic concepts and definitions which constitutes the chapter royalty accounts. First, let's understand who all are there in royalty accounts. The first one is the owner of the asset. When we talk about the owner, there is an asset also. And there is a business firm or a company which is interested in buying or hiring that asset. Second is the property which belongs to the owner. It, is, has, it has the potential to be used commercially and it is both physical or tangible in nature as well as intangible or intellectual in nature. Let us elaborate more on its type. Physical or tangible property in case of royalty includes oil well, mining and brick making. While the intangible or intellectual property includes patents and copyrights. And the third important component of royalty is the businessman or the company which is interested in the property of the owner. In return, the, he is interested in paying the amount for the business use of the property of the landlord. So now shall we understand the relationship between the three of them? So royalty relationship is all about the business or the business firm which borrows by way of license or lease. The property which belongs to the owner and in return it pays the owner a certain percentage of the revenue or output generated by using the property. So now let's understand the definition of royalty. Royalty means the payment made to the landlord of an asset for ongoing business use of his asset. Royalty may be paid in the following two ways. First, as a certain percentage of production or output, and secondly, as a certain percentage of sales or the revenue generated by the use of the asset. Now let's understand what's the benefit of royalty for the owner as well as for the user. For the owner, it protects his, his property from being misused by somebody else. And for the businessman, it protects him from the claims of or the charges made on him for improper use of somebody else's asset. In the definition of royalty, if you remember, I have used two words. It is the business which is hiring somebody's property by way of either lease or license. So it is very important for you to understand uh, the differentiation of royalty from two things. Let's talk about that. Let's differentiate royalty from a very important term called rent, which we very commonly use. How royalty is different from rent? In rent, a pre at a predetermined rate or a predetermined value, you make the payment to the landlord for the use of his property without altering the property. But in case of royalty, this rental is variable in nature related to production, output or sales. Property taken on rent is not allowed to be used commercially. It is to be kept in proper condition and to be returned to the landlord after the usage is over. Now let's understand the differentiation between royalty and license. License is an agreement which permits the use of someone's property with or without a fees. License is a permission for the usage while royalty is the payment for that usage. After understanding the basic definition of royalty and its differentiation from the most commonly used and confused terms with royalty, let us understand some important terminologies of royalty accounts. So let's understand the first important term of royalty and that is landlord. You remember we talked about the owner? It's the same person. He holds the special right to the property. Second important term is the lessee. Lessee, you remember the businessman we are talking about? The one who is taking the property on rent or hiring the property? It's called the lessee. 
It's basically a lease agreement between the owner and the businessman for a long term. It's a long term business relationship that they are going to carry. And therefore, we use the term lessee for the business firm who is borrowing the asset of the owner. Now the third very important term which we haven't talked as yet and that is minimum rent. Minimum rent is nothing but the minimum amount of royalty which is to be paid to the landlord irrespective of the business activity level. Low production, low sales, interest of the owner is intact by the minimum rent. The next important concept is royalty which we have already talked very much from the beginning itself, we are talking about it. So you understand royalty is the usage payment of the asset. I would like to elaborate more on the term minimum rent because minimum rent give rise to the other concepts of royalty. Minimum rent leads to two situations. One, where the minimum rent value is more than royalty and the second, when minimum rent is less than the royalty. When minimum rent is more and royalty is less, what happens? This situation is known as short working. Short working is a situation which is favorable for the landlord, but it is unfavorable for the lessee. But when royalty exceeds the minimum rent, what happens? There is a surplus value over minimum rent. Surplus is a favorable situation for the lessee. I'll tell you why. Short working. The unfavorable situation for the lessee and a favorable situation for the landlord. Let's understand this a little more. Business, as you all know, involves risk. And businessman is a person who takes that risk to make profit. But don't you think it will cost the landlord most? Why will he share the risk? Although he's ready to take the revenue, he's ready to share the certain percentage of revenue which the businessman is offering him. But why should he be the part of the risk? So, the landlord puts a condition of safeguarding his financial interest. He is not going to share the financial risk which is involved with the business. But yes, he is definitely interested in the revenue. So, in the royalty agreement, a clause has been inserted where the landlord fixes up a minimum amount of royalty. He will not accept anything below that value. So, what happened? In a particular year where the sales generated is lower or the royalty generated is lower than the value of minimum rent, so what happens when the royalty value falls below the minimum rent? The lessee has to pay from his pocket the extra money which will make royalty equal to the value of minimum rent. And this extra payment from the pocket of the lessee is known as short working. Though it's an extra financial burden on the pocket of the lessee to meet the minimum rent stipulation. Now let's understand the other situation which is favorable for the lessee and we call it surplus situation. What is the surplus? It is the surplus or the excess of royalty over the minimum rent. For some of the years, the royalty value exceeds the minimum rent. Minimum rent is acceptable to the landlord. So what happens when with this extra value? You all know that agreement is a win-win situation for both the parties to the agreement. So if the landlord's financial interest is protected, so why not the lessee's financial interest? So surplus is that situation which is favorable for the lessee. He has the excess money above the minimum rent which he can use for recovering his previous short workings. So understanding the short working and computation of short workings is something which is the task for the royalty accounts. What is the fate of short working? There are two fates to the short workings. Either it can be recovered or it cannot be recovered. Its recovery depends upon the terms and conditions which are mentioned in the royalty agreement. So talking about the first fate, that is recoupment of short working. Recoupment. The word stands for recovery. Short working can be recouped when there is a surplus. Surplus means royalty exceeding minimum rent. Or due to the conditions of royalty agreement, short workings cannot be recovered and we call it unrecouped short working. They are charged to profit and loss as 
permanent loss. So let's sum up what we have learned so far. We have talked about the fundamentals that lie into the royalty accounts. Then we talked about the royalty relationship. We talked about the definition, differentiation, advantages of royalty. And lastly, we talked about the important terminologies which will be used in royalty accounts. So in our next video, we'll talk about short working recoupment conditions, how they are being calculated. Then we'll talk about making of royalty analytical table, which is very, very important in case of royalty accounts. And finally, we'll talk about the journal entries and ledger accounts that are being made in royalty accounts in the books of Lessee and the Land.